All right, okay, dude. Like a band-aid, let's just rip it off, get this started. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another day in the life of the Leeds United football manager career. Uh, it has not gone well this season, boys. Uh, a very up and down season. A lot of the purchases we've made have not really come good. I mean, Lorenzo Lucas and Evan Ferguson being tied for eight goals all season long is not that great. It's been a busy season in general. We've spent crazy money. Like, again, I deserve to be sacked if we don't start getting the results. Let's be real. But it's not been great, boys. We've been really struggling to offload certain players. So we got to reassess because not only are we facing the sack for terrible results, we are now 15th place in the league. Southampton next. They are right below us, three points away. So this should be a very tough game but a game hopefully we can get something from i don't really do you guys notice anything any real strength in this team this has also been the story of the season we've been getting horrifically unlucky in games horrifically unlucky to the point even the board agreed and we've been getting injuries so often and we checked the training we checked everything okay one day thank god nothing is out of the ordinary with the squad transfer offer of 4.3 mil see you later you know what? We got him on a free. To get 4.3 mil out of him is okay. I'm noticing that 99% of teams just use the glitched formation. Is that normal? People are saying I should have all of my attackers on attack. I just feel like that's that, that just will crowd out the middle of the pitch. Connor Bradley injured. He just signed for us, man. Four to five months for DeBio. I swear to God, if Connor Bradley's more than a day, I'm going to freak out. I think I'm delaying the inevitable, boys. I think I'm delaying the inevitable. All right, we're away as well. I mean, bro, look at this. Four minutes in. What a save. Thank God for the rebound. Bro, we're going to get... We're getting fired, man. Like, right after we score, we concede that. Elan Melier is throwing. The amount of long-range shots we've conceded with Melier is insanity. Bro... D how are we conceding that? Bro. And then freaking Willy Nanto misses that chance. Nah, man. I'm getting sacked. I'm getting sacked. Archie, please. Thank you, Archie. Thank you, Archie. Come on, Clark. He the super sub. Luca misses an open net. Or was that a corner at least? Luca misses. Oh. Oh my god, we're doing everything right. Performance is good, results should have been better. That has been the entire season, my friend. That has been the entire season. Hey, Evan, I genuinely want to criticize you. Look at his, his stats are dropping. He's a starter and his stats are dropping off the freaking cliff, man. I'm getting fired if we don't beat Norwich here. That's for sure. Right. Connor Bradley's first game, boys. Let's see how he plays that right back. Nipan erupting. Nipan erupting. That's a pen. That's a pen. If he misses this, he's coming off. No one tell him I said that. We are in the mud, boys. I'm freaking celebrating going one nothing up off of a pen. Or feeling relief going one nothing up off of a pen against bottom of the table Norwich. Not in the objective. Nanto! Oh. Ferguson! Oh, he cheeses it! Ferguson cheeses it. Okay. And uh, use it when we're in. Oh, baby. And use it when we're in the lead. What the f- Willy Nanto, what a pass. What a miss, man. Wait, Spurs are now interested in trying to si sign Archie's younger brother, Harry Gray? Oh, my God, man. I think the only change I'm going to make is put Luca up top instead of Ferguson. I know that might be counter- intuitive but um i think i'm gonna do that this might be pain guys we might get battered here more of a counter-attacking setup here we're gonna move the ball a lot quicker and try to drive the ball more towards luca we're bringing the pressure this is good this is good my pen banging my pen my pen archie gray with the assist archie gray with the ball into the space my pen does the rest with that five star weak foot let's say what, I, what I'm not a fan of, right, is this This tactic is working. This tactic was working. <laughs> Classic football manager. Here we go. We're kind of hemming them in their own half with this press. Oh! 
Archie Gray! What a perfect changeup that was, boys. Just shifting to press after possession loss. That's a pen. Has the ref actually given a penalty for nothing? I hate this game sometimes, man. Oh my god! Elan Melier! Okay, we're going off that press out of possession. No, God, please no. Come on, let's take a draw. No, nothing stupid. Guys! Oh, God, Archie. No way. Imagine. Imagine! Oh, my good Lord. Melier had a game. Archie Gray with a 9.0. Oh, my God. Against Arsenal. Let's just see how the, the first 20 minutes go. I don't want to counter pre like press when we lose possession here and then... And but let's see, too, right? They they might be set up in a tiki-taka, so... I might regret that. He might have a long-term injury after this game, based off of my luck. He's got, what, four-fifths of his fitness, and he'll probably still get a bad injury. I mean, the whole Villa team is on crazy high. We got smoked, guys. We, every time we play Villa, we get absolutely smoked. We have three games in hand over... Oh my god, no, we're in a really bad position. We have three games in hand over West Ham and two games in hand over Southampton as well. Oh my god. Leeds are in a state of crisis, suffering fractured ribs. Ferguson has added to the club's left of injury first team, which is now five strong. Yeah, thank you very much. Maybe the freaking ownership will understand this. This is exactly what happened to Bielsa before he got fired. No, dude. I'm imitating my favorite human being of all time, Marcelo Bielsa. This is not good. Maybe we try and take over Schalke within this career mode. That'd be kind of crazy. I don't know if that's even possible, but we should try if we get sacked. But what would be good is if I knew how to play this game, that'd be great. If I knew how to game manage, that'd be nice. Out for two months. Oh, Bradley injury uh, starts a, a crisis now for six injured first team players. <laughs> I'm gonna punch my screen. This Spike guy, man. Spike, please, look at his, he's just fallen off a cliff. Wasn't his potential at like five? This guy spent the last year and a half at the club or whatever it's been, year or so just injured the whole time. What a great pickup he was, man. And uh, it doesn't matter. Half of my academy players and under 18 spend their entire seasons injured as well. Crazy. Come on, Willie, please have a big game for us, Willie. Please, Luca, have a big game, guys. Please, I beg. I feel like the way Everton would probably be set up, we should be trying to funnel them into the middle, right? Oh my god. Hey man. Luca's on diabolical form right now. Oh god, I don't know who's set to take this because Ferguson's out of the team. Who is that? Is that Nipan? Jack Clark! Oh my god, and he scores it. Oh my god, thank you, Jack Clark. Yes! Pascal Clemens from Malief Davis Cross. Is that offside? Wait, there's no way that was offside. Not possible. How? Off of a corner? Disallowed? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No shot, dude. This game is so ass. 11 corners to one corner, brother. Oh my good God. I just dominated a game and conceded from one shot. How exactly is that a leaky defense? Harvey Elliott valued at 23 million? And he's contracted until 2029. Is that because he's asking to leave? What's going on here? His agent contacted us. Why would he want to join us? Guys, I can't afford to even talk to him yet, though. We got to understand where we are. But maybe this is something for the summer, honestly. Maybe this is something for the summer. Ah! Oh, speaking of which, Willie Nanto injured at the top left of the inbox. I'm going to flip my chair. I'm going to flip my chair. If this is anything more than a day, I'm flipping my desk. I'm, 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 I'm seriously going to flip this whole fucking thing into the wall. I'm not even kidding. Relegation fodder Hull beat fifth place Spurs. Oh my. And Kunku, Cole Palmer, <laughs> Drewsbury Hall, <laughs> Kendry Paez. Would it not make sense for me to play the more counterattacking setup and then play like force them essentially to to like oh basically overload the wings and force them to play through the middle? Again, am I overanalyzing? I don't know, I guess, but uh this is why I'm playing this goddamn game. Let's not let this whole game plan go out the window by conceding within the first 10 minutes, please. Oh, 
30 minutes of fantastic play and Bissick coughs the ball up for us to concede the dumbest shit ever. Lucky. I feel like we've been controlled. That's a pen. Oh my God. I don't know who takes this. Oh God, it's Luca. Oh God. Luca, please. The turnaround of your... The turnaround of his composure. Come on, boys. We have... We, we, it's all us. We have all the height in the box. This should not count. This should not equal a goal. And we've conceded. I hate this game. I hate this game, man. Zero clear-cut chances for Chelsea. Leads with two clear-cut chances, but we lose 2-1. Amazing. Brother, look at the top of the inbox again. Anybody want to take a guess at who's injured again? He's been injured. We've had him for a year. I think he's been injured six times. He doesn't even play. He's a reserve goalkeeper meant to be, like, in the next year or two starting to compete with Melier for positions. He spent his whole freaking year. What is happening? What is wrong with you, dude? Does he have an injury, like, excessive injury trait or something? No. Spurs, Man City, Man United. Oh my god, dude. I mean, Lorenzo on a target forward and Baturina in support is not really the most intelligent setup, if I'm honest. Just no individual errors. Okay, so Kulusevsky, Madison is now wide right. Galino's wide left. Pino is at striker. Defensively, we should be sound. We got a great back line. Come on. No mistakes. Please! You idiots! Bissick again! Come on, bro! All year long, individual errors making huge mistakes, bro. Bissick is like one of the highest rated... What? Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right. I again think we managed that game beautifully. I think we managed that game beautifully. This, there's, there has to be something wrong. Brother, there has to be something wrong here. This, this is not real. We've got a level 20 physio now. We got a level 20 uh, sports scientist. We've fired some crap ones. Like, we've changed the training regime. Would, would Foden and Bowen swap? Rodri's injured. Oh, Ake's 32 years old already. I just saw his value. I'm like, oh my god, we need to buy Nathan Ake. There's no way we get four straight draws against City in two Premier League seasons, right? So I honestly think we just play inshallah ball and just see what happens, man. So they've got Haaland, Savio, Bernardo, Foden, De Bruyne, Rodri, Gvardiol, Ake, Diaz, Lewis, Ederson. Oh, good. That's game. one nothing loss. Freaking a pen handed us a loss against City. Otherwise, that should have been a draw every day of the week. Again, the likelihood is we get battered here, right? So let's just see special here oh my god just like that holy sh archie oh what a save by onana what the hell melier This is, how many games is this, guys, this season? For those of you guys that have been watching the last two, three days. 15 games this season that have been thrown by random individual RNG mistakes? I'm going to play our attacking setup. We're at home. I don't want to piss the fans off by playing like a counter-attacking dead setup. I know that Fulham are eighth, but I think we still have to play the more attractive style at home. Oh, great. Five minutes in. Here we go. I just can't, man. This game is so predictable. It's unbelievable. Immediate impact for Lorenzo Luca. Immediate impact for Lorenzo Luca. Immediate impact. Leaf, ball in. Ball into Luca. Please. Luca! Yes! The tiki taka switch about worked. <laughs> I'm the puke. I honestly thought number three was keeping him on side. I thought Pacha was keeping him on side. A draw while 2 nothing down to 8th place high-flying Fulham is a hell of a result, man.
can't shift around what you see that's wrong with the game. Just leave it as is. Shut up, you pencil dick. This will probably be a decider as to whether or not I get sacked. Massive, massive, massive game. Massive, massive, massive game. Luca, that's all day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Exactly why we're using Luca against this team. Exactly why. Oh, wow, that's offside. That's offside. That's offside. That's onside? What a goal. Look at how many yellows West Ham have. Four yellow cards. Dominant display, too. Hopefully the fans like that. All yapping, talking about my tactics, saying my tactics aren't good. Yap more, fans. Yap more. We're, we're technically five points safe-ish, really, right? Bournemouth, Brighton, and Southampton are in the mud. We're kind of barely holding on. Second season syndrome in the Premier League is hitting us hard, guys. We might have to pull a Leeds where we survive on the last, the last day and have Rafinha crawling on his knees from one side of the pitch to the other, celebrating with the fans. Hell of a day. Barely surviving, tinkering, arguably not doing well in that last game where we were dominating and in the lead. I just, I mean, the reason why I tried to put Ferguson and Lorenzo up top, and maybe I should have just changed the formation, but what I was trying to do there is get Naipan and Baturina out of the team because they're on zero fitness, and the last thing I want is to lose one of them to injury. And I didn't want to waste Ferguson in the cam roll. Now, I mean, in hindsight, did switching to two strikers equate to us losing that game late? I don't know. Sure. According to the Twitch chat, of course, that's exactly why we lost. But um, anyways, a bit of mismanagement there, but we'll live and learn. I think we've uh, we've done well to get a win against West Ham, who are right above us. And uh, it's a big game against Brighton up next, and then Hull after that. And Hull are just on a terrible run of form right now, so... Hopefully that continues for them. In terms of the leagues around us, uh, Real have basically won the league already. Bayern are uh, front runners, of course. Ajax have bottled the Eredivisie. And it looks like Schalke might survive relegation here. Or at least having to deal with a relegation playoff. Inter have basically won the league as well. Fair play. Palermo and Como in the relegation zones. My goodness. Who's in the relegations? Oh, God. Plymouth looks like they're pretty much done and dusted here and relegated into League One. That's unfortunate. Who's going to get relegated here, boys? At least at the end of the season. Four games remaining. Bournemouth, Brighton, and Southampton are two points apart. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, and there you go. Nypen out with a twisted knee. Ah! This game! They do not believe in us. So that is where I'm going to leave it. I appreciate you guys for spending time with me again today. Thank you for the 67 subscribers today. A couple of hundred new followers on the channel as well. So I appreciate it. Make sure uh, if you guys are enjoying it, follow, subscribe, wherever you're consuming the content, whether it's on Twitch, nick 28 whether it's on YouTube, nick 28 Either way, I do appreciate you guys. So thank you all for spending time with me. Um, tomorrow, we find out whether or not we survive the drop, we find out whether or not we survive getting sacked. And tomorrow, we either start a new career mode if we get sacked. Give me your ideas on what type of career mode or career you'd want me to do, whether it's a, uh, an unemployed to glory or a Schalke back to glory or an Ajax Youth Academy to glory, whatever it is, you guys can give me your thoughts. Um, if we survive the sack, tomorrow is going to be a very nitty gritty analyzing through the squad and seeing what improvements we need. And specifically, maybe going through the training and trying to figure out how to sort out the schedule to avoid these uh, crazy injuries that we've been getting for the last year or two. We thought we had it sorted by dealing with the staff and getting better physios and, and specifically sports scientists and whatnot, head of sports science, etc., I don't know. I, I thought, honestly, this would be the right move, but maybe we still need some improvements here. Like, this guy doesn't even seem that good. 17 sports science is not bad, but um, 16 sports science is not bad, but maybe um, there's some... Imp oh! Where's the level 20 sports scientist that we hired? Oh, there he is. Level 19 sports scientist. There he is. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go tomorrow. 
I'm hoping that we can recover and uh, and, and and survive. I'd love to have another chance at the Premier League. You know, if we can survive the second season syndrome, maybe next year we can truly push to mid-table or upper mid-table. This is crazy how closely this career is mimicking the career of Marcelo Bielsa at Leeds. Isn't it nuts? The second season syndrome, really in trouble. First season was amazing. What do we finish? 11th or basically tied for 10th in the first season? And here we are almost in a relegation scrap. So absolutely insane. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. And uh, we'll catch you beauties on the flip side. Peace.